I can make a true song about me, myself, tell my travels, how I endured days of struggle, troublesome times, how I have suffered grim sorrow at heart, have known in this ship many worries, abodes of care, the terrible tossing the waves, where the anxious night watch often took me at the ship's prow, when it tossed near the cliffs, fettered by cold were my feet, bound by frost and cold clasps, where then cares seethed hot about my heart, a hunger tears from within the sea-weary soul. This the man does not know for whom on land it turns out most favorably how i wretched and sorrowful on the ice-cold sea dwelt for a winter in the paths of exile the seafarer bereft of friendly kinsmen hung about with icicles hail flew in showers there i heard nothing but the roaring sea the ice-cold wave at times the swan song the white swan i took to myself as pleasure the gannet's noise and the voice of the curlew instead of the laughter of men the singing gull instead of the drinking of mead Storms there beat the stony cliffs where the turn spoke, icy feathered, always the eagle cried at it, dewy feathered, no cheerful kinsman can comfort the poor soul. Indeed, he credits it little, the one who has the joys of life, dwells in the city, far from terrible journey, proud and wanton with wine, how I weary often have had to endure in the sea paths. The shadows of night darkened, it snowed from the north, frost bound the ground, hail fell on the earth, coldest of grains. Indeed, now they are troubled, the thoughts of my heart, that I myself should strive with the high streams, the tossing of salt waves. The wish of my heart urges all the time my spirit to go forth, that I, far from here, should seek the homeland of a foreign people. Indeed, there is no so, not so proud-spirited a man in the world, nor so generous of gifts, nor so bold in his youth, nor so brave in his deeds, nor nor so dear to his lord that he never is in his seafaring has a worry as to what his lord will do to him not for him is the sound of the harp nor the giving of rings nor pleasure in woman nor worldly glory nor anything at all unless the tossing of waves but he always has a longing he who strives on the waves groves take on blossoms the cities grow fair the fields are comely the world seems new all these things urge on the eager of spirit the mind to travel in one who so thinks to travel far on the paths of the sea so the cuckoo warns with a sad voice the guardian of summer sings bodes a sorrow grievous in the soul this the man does not know the warrior lucky in worldly things what some endure then those who tread most widely the paths of exile and now my spirit twixts out of my breast my spirit out in the waterways over the whale's path it soars widely through all the corners of the world it comes back to me eager and unsated the lone flyer screams urges on to the whale road the unresisting heart across the waves of the sea indeed hotter for me are the joys of the lord than this dead life fleeting on the land i do not believe that the riches of the world will stand forever always and invariably one of three things will turn to uncertainty before his fated hour disease or old age or the sword's hatred will tear out the life from those deemed to doomed to die and so it is for each man the praise of the living of those who speak afterwards that is the best epitaph that he should work before he must be gone bravery in the world against the enmity of devils daring deeds against the friend so that the sons of men will praise him afterwards and his fame afterwards will live with the angels forever and ever the glory of eternal life joy with the hosts the days are gone of all the glory of the kingdoms of the earth there are now not now kings nor caesars nor givers of gold as once there were when they the greatest among themselves performed valorous deeds and with a most lordly majesty lived all that old guard is gone and the revels are over the weaker ones now dwell and hold the world enjoy it through their sweat the glory is fled the nobility of the world ages and grows sere as now does every man throughout the world age comes upon him his face grows pale the gray beard laments he knows that his old friends the sons of princes have been given to the earth his body fails then as life leaves him he cannot taste sweetness nor feel pain nor move his hand or think with his head though he would he would strew the grave with gold a brother for his kinsmen bury with the dead a mass of treasure it just won't work nor can the soul which is full of sin preserve the gold before the fear of god though he hid it before while he was yet alive great is the fear of the lord before which the world stands still 
He established the firm foundations, the corners of the world, and the high heavens. A fool is the one who does not fear his Lord. Death comes to him unprepared. Blessed is he who lives humbly. To him comes forgiveness from heaven. God set that spirit within him because he believed in his might. And it makes us right. Man must control his passions and keep everything in balance. Keep faith with men and be pure in wisdom. Each of men must be even-handed with their friends and their foes. Though he does not wish him in the foulness of flames or on a pyre to be burned, his contrived friend, fate is greater and God is mightier than any man's thought. Let us ponder where we have our homes and then think how we should get thither. And then we should all strive that we might go there to the eternal blessedness. This is a belonging... That is a belonging life in the love of the Lord. Joy in the heavens. Let there be thanks to God that he adored us and he adorns us. The Father of glory, the eternal Lord for all time. Amen.